I'm not talking about Jordan Long. Head ass. This don't got nothing to do with Jordan. Jordan's a delusional little girl. I'm not talking about her. She's been done. She a done case. I would never in life argue with her. I blocked her on my Twitter. I won't even search her tweets. If she say something about me, they gotta send it to me. I'm not talking about Jordan. Jordan was never the problem. Like I been know she was delusional. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Since Day One. Before we get into this video update today about J.D. Youngin as well as J.D. Youngin's baby mama, Jordan B. And also in attendance, we have today Cuban Doll and her ex-boyfriend, Tato. And last but not least, we have J.D. Youngin's old boo, Jamia. And before we get into this video today, you guys, go ahead and like the video, comment down below, and if you are new, smash that subscribe button to take flight with us. <laughs> So about three or four days ago, you guys, the Shade Room teens had dropped some footage of Cuban Doll being out allegedly with her ex-boyfriend, Tato. Apparently, despite being broken up with Tato, you guys, excuse me if I'm not saying his name right, because I just don't have good pronunciation. I'm a country girl from Texas. Despite being broken up with Tato, you guys, after all they had went through and allegedly being J.D. Youngin's girlfriend, fans and supporters were so surprised to see them two together. <laughs> Comments under the Shade Room Teens post say, her taste in ninjas is horrible. Another posted, she loved getting beat up. And another posted child, how she went on a rant about Jordan but doing the same thing so she loved getting other beat up. Other comments read, oh lord, didn't he in the washing machine? Never mind. And someone else was like, not this again. And then another person commented, they never gonna stop messing with each More other. More comments read, oh, you done fighting over Jay? My favorite one was when Keeping Up With Sid said, I know Jordan jumping up and down right now, girl. And you was right. Because it seemed like whatever Cuban the Savage had going on with Tardo didn't have nothing to do with J.D. Youngin. And you would think that J.D. Youngin would have responded to Cuban Doll by now if she was so important to him, y'all. But guess where J.D. Youngin was at while Cuban Doll was on live crying about him, y'all. Jaden Youngin was off somewhere on a plane with his little old family with his baby mama Jordan and his son Junior. He was acting like he didn't know who Cuban Doll was, ain't never met a Cena in his life. Y'all must have thought that Jordan B was gonna be out here big bothered about Cuban Savage on live crying about her baby daddy. Like JD Youngin don't know where home is. JD Youngin know where home is. He know where to go when he wanna be loved the right way. JD Youngin's baby mama Jordan already knew what it was. She posted a photo of Gucci Man and his wife Keisha K. Or in her Instagram story and captioned it, Stay down. Now look. Emphasizing on the fact that JD Youngin left Cuban doll in K came back to her after all of that stuff that Cuban Doll had been talking about back and forth with Jordan B over the internet. Look where J.D. Youngin still ended up at after it all. And what happened next, y'all? No fan or no supporter of Cuban Doll, J.D. Youngin, Jordan B. Was expecting Cuban Doll to get on her Instagram live last night, you guys, and cry about J.D. Youngin being back with his baby mama, Jordan. So... I just feel like it's fucked up how you doing me. I ain't never did nothing to you. But love you and care about you. That shit lame. But if I did something to you, let me know. Don't leave me in the mind. I'm plucking my wig right now. I'm gonna do my own hair. But don't leave me in the blind about nothing. You can always tell me whatever I'm gonna understand. I ain't never did nothing to you. But go out my way and be a, a friend. I don't be trying to fucking fight and argue. I just be wanna. I don't know. I just feel like 
This is a slap in the face. I just feel like you changed. And you fake and everything changed. You a liar and a manipulator. You just so much stuff I can't even think about it right now. You manipulated me. You tricked me. You lied to me. My face, you knew it. And you just think that's okay. I'm making videos because I want you to hear me what I gotta say. Without us being on the phone or you not long enough listen. So I just gotta send you voice note. I mean video messages so you can hear it. And what's crazy about it is you gon' hear it and it's not gonna mean shit to you. But this is my only way of saying what I fully got to say without you talking back. Then another thing is like, if you knew you wasn't gonna be with me, or if you knew you wasn't gonna do none of that stuff, you couldn't just say it because we could've just, we could've just fuck with each other low key. Because I had a situation, you had a situation. And it's like, you know, it fuck up like the other people. You know what I'm saying? Like you was clearly with somebody and I was clearly with somebody too. And I was just like, damn. And then me trying to fucking better myself, career, all that. That's not a good look, talking to different rappers and shit. So he was just like another nigga adding on to the mix. So now it's like, it's always going to be me tied to you. And it, you know what I'm saying? And you always going to bring my name up now. I always going to bring your name up when people talk to me. And I'm just like, damn. We don't even fuck with each other. So it's like, we could have avoided all that. Especially if you wasn't planning on fucking with me. Well, I don't know if y'all remember, but earlier in the year, January of 2021, Daddy Youngin had got caught walking in the mall with this girl named Jamia. Allegedly, word in these YouTube streets, you guys, is that Jamia never stopped talking to Jada Youngin, and she's always been there on the sidelines. And this really blew my mind, y'all, because I thought that this girl been gone on her own, doing her own thing away from Jada Youngin. I thought Jada Youngin was just talking to Cuba Dog and going back and forth between Cuba Dog and Jordan B. So I was so surprised when Jamia had responded to Cuba Dog in her story and said, "Never that serious to cry over a ninja." Once Cuba Dog woke up this morning, you guys, and really realize what had happened she went on her twitter and posted i'm okay i was drunk last night a lot of fans and supporters didn't understand why cuban doll was on her live acting like that when she was really just out with her ex-boyfriend tato they didn't understand how you could say all of those things about jordan when you went back to the same person who used to put them paws on you so when cuban doll got back on instagram live today and went on her rant all the fans and supporters felt as if she was talking about jordan b but in all reality, she was really sending shots towards Jada Youngin's old boo, Jamia, because of what Jamia posted in her Instagram story. Fans and supporters wanted to know if she was just out with Tato, then why do you have so much animosity towards Jamia, Jada Youngin, and Jordan B if you had already chosen your side? But y'all, Cuban Dog kept going. She had a point to prove because at this point, it really highly upset her when Jamia had inserted herself in on the business. Cause girl, where did you even fall out the sky from? The ju 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 well, the f name is bitch. It ain't that serious to cry, but bitch, clearly I was drunk, and you don't even know who or what I was talking about. So shut the f up, bitch. But I pull up. I know where you live at in Miami. I really pull up on your shit. nasty, goggling, swallowing, spit eating, cum eating, cum is bitch. I will post a video of you where you have a nut on your face. You nasty bitch. Look like a man. You got all that acne. And this is the thing about it. How be reaching for me? How be coming for me? As soon as I say something, you know that shit blow up and all this. Shit. But I don't give a fuck. How you want that smoke? Give it to you. But you crying and sad when the nigga made you get an abortion. Bitch. And you was texting. I have his old phone, so all the old messages in there. We could post it and we could talk about it. He was devastated over this nigga. I did that. I posted that. <laughs> <laughs> that 
not even funny, but it's funny because it's like, now, Cuban, why would you do that? But me knowing me, I probably ain't give a when you drunk, you don't give a I know people watching me. I know what people going to say. I don't care. I don't give a I don't read comments and shit like that. But what go out that way to post me on their story, it's not that serious. It's not that serious, but you steady texting them. You, you you steady reaching, bitch. But it ain't that serious. Oh, but it's that serious if it was you, bitch. No, it's, no, it's not that serious. It's not that serious to make a post about me when you used to be fucking on the nigga. You was never even a nigga girlfriend. You were just like, you were just like a slow, a super, super freaky slutty that was always around. Like, you were just a super slutty hoe and his friends were too, bitch. And bitch, your name in his phone is saved under dick goggler, bitch. Literally. Now, I've been keeping it cute and peaceful, but you know, be coming for me and I sure know how to come for it. And let's say, and let me put this out there because I always tell me you scared to fight. If she didn't want to fight me, I pulled up on him. If she wanted to fight me and we didn't fight, that's because the wasn't trying to meet up. It, it'd be some shit like that. And I don't know, none of these, none of these rappers, none of these claim they popping, pulling up on these and fighting them. Y'all hoes can save it for y'all. And mama and bitch, that's on Mary had a little lamb. Then the bitch said it's not that serious to be crying over a nigga. She was texting the nigga phone talking about I'm over here crying, I'm hurt. Da, 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 da. You ugly. I, all you hoes that be coming for me, I have his phone. I backed up his iCloud. All the messages come through rolling in. So I don't want you to come for me. Let's go. Cause I got receipts. I already know this shit gonna go on the blocks. I don't go because now I'm not the better me. Okay, so damn, this shirt ain't it for me either. Okay, so hey girl. Okay, so yesterday, last night, I posted a video. I wasn't even really crying. I was like drunk crying. <laughs> but no. <laughs> and it's embarrassing. Okay, yesterday I posted like a, a few videos of me crying and stuff. But I was drunk. And I'm just like, you know, whatever. That video could have been for whoever, like whatever. They just go attach a nigga name to the video, like, man, man y'all know I'm too clever for that. <laughs> I just went. But the, some her name, Jamisia. Jam it's not even Jamisa, Jam Jamaya. It gotta be Jamaya. I guess the little hoe was fucking with the little nigga before that. I was gonna make a post like, it's not that serious to be crying. Girl, I will spit on you in real life, bitch. You know where you live at in Miami and them cheap ass. We did condo. We already did that. I already been living in the condo in Miami for two and three years straight. So let's not talk about that. If you see me online, please don't go on me. Yeah. So basically, I was drunk and I posted. Basically, I was drunk and I posted a video. No, my phone went in and I went to sleep. And I really be posting spam page and people, uh, I really be posting on spam page. So it was meant to go on the spam page. Like it's all type of press and stuff on there, whatever. And I accidentally posted it on my real page. Whoopsie do me. But I was just still look drunk. I'm still am drunk. Like what? The, okay, but listen. I, okay, I'm getting tips and advice later. I'm just got the story. So I posted the video and right to sleep. I was drunk. I was not. Yeah, I woke up, everybody texted me, you okay, 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 all this shit, like, people fight, I don't know. And I was, <laughs> I was just drunk. I was under the influence, and I only took, like, two shots. But I haven't been drinking like that, so a little, a little, 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 a little liquor would have me lit. And I feel like liquor be having me in my face, making me, you feel what I'm saying? So that's what that was. And I was like, it's not that serious. Nah, bitch, what's not serious was when you be. <laughs> Anyways, what's the whole name? Jamaya or Jamisia? The, the girl the girl named Jamaya or Jamisia. Don't ever come for me. We was never in the same position, you ugly, raggedy hoe. You're ugly. You look like a. This is me with no makeup, no weave, no nothing. And a nigga will admire my face. Bitch, you ugly as fuck. You the ugliest thing I ever seen. Like, like when I seen when I seen that Jay talked to you, I never even talked to him because you look. You gotta look at. You gotta look at the news. You see, you up with like, damn, like, damn, I can't be the only bad bitch. So when I just see her, I was like, Ugh, like, you a rag bitch. I just want to say that. And um, let the other little girl come for me too, and I'm on her ass too. Cause guess what? These hoes love coming for me. I be quiet, and they be poking at me, poking at me, poking at me till I mother.
say something. Then when I say something, I'm always in drama. Now, you hoes ignore y'all drama. Y'all ignore y'all smoke. And y'all be person. Let's talk about that. I'm not talking about Jordan long, ugly head ass. This don't got nothing to do with Jordan. Jordan's a delusional little girl. I'm not talking about her. She's been done. She a done case. I would never in life argue with her. I blocked her on my Twitter. I won't even search her tweets. If she say something about me, they got to send it to me. I don't give a fuck about Jordan. Jordan was never the problem. Like, I didn't know she was delusional. Well, that's all on the next show of... And this thing that my man's gonna be so man, he's gonna be like, now Cuban. Now Cuban. My team, my I really be disappointed in my team when I be having to address boys, getting into it, getting into it with boys and all this shit. Just really be excited when I say something back. They be like, oh my god. The niggas already be excited for the argument. My matter of fact, let's talk about let's talk about Jay and the whole situation with Jay. Jay been wanting me his whole rap career. Let's 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 just just put that out there. Everybody know that. If you a real J fan, you been know. He been on my trail since A1 day one. So, yeah. <coughs> but I'm supposed to be sleep getting some rest. Because I still don't feel good. Are you stupid, dumb, or slow? I said they be mad when I'm in drama. But I got a hair appointment because I got a long ass flight. I got a long ass flight to um, LA. And that shit is like six hours from Atlanta. So... I got a long flight to LA and that is like motherfucking six hours. Hey, somebody said perk Debbie. No, I hate getting on flights to LA. Very scary. Scared of what? Quit calling people scared. Ain't that a human being? Yeah, I know that in LA. Jay booked my flight to LA and I'm going to go with him. clearly out. didn't care nothing about what Cuban Doll was talking about you guys because she got back on her Instagram story and she actually responded and tagged Cuban doll, and this is what she had she to said, say. Cuban doll, tag me when you're speaking on me. Playing tough, itch. You ain't living like that. Jamia then reposted a mention from her friend that said, "I see. I'm gonna have to come back to Miami since the itch want to get." Jamia tough. reposted her friend's mention and said to Cuban, "Don't let that pretty face fool you, cause we get real active over here." Jamia then posted on her Instagram story, I don't do all this going back and forth on social media. You say you know where I stay. Come pull it up. It seems like Simple. everything else that Jamia wanted to say on her Instagram story was getting reported and deleted by Instagram. She captioned it and she said, see, this is the reason I can't say all the ish I want to say. They keep deleting my ish. Jamia even went so far as to try to get on Instagram live to respond back to Cuban the Savage, you guys. However, J.D. Youngin's mother got on her live and told her to get off. It wasn't I worth it. I didn't see J.D. Youngin's mama nowhere on Cuban Dolls Instagram live telling her to get off. It wasn't worth it. That speaks volumes to me. Real jazz. Who got a now, I'm on one now. Right, in Mom. the end, Jamia was able to get her response out to Cuban the Savage, and this is what she had to say. First of all, they're talking so much about what she don't even know about. Like, what the are you talking about? First of all, on the whole abortion, how do you make somebody get abortion? How do you make them go to a doctor? How do you make them lay on the table? How do you do that? Well, no, you dumb ass will have a baby by anybody, any rapper, because y'all ain't got going for y'all. I want a baby by a nigga, a rapper nigga. They don't even take care of his first baby mama. They're getting beat on. What do I want a baby by his ass for? Y'all dumb. Like, what the f you saying? And his niggas, who? His niggas, who? Get the f out of here. How the fuck you just getting these information for? If that was the case, fuck he still fuck with me. What you saying? Like, I could have been, been with him. What are y'all saying right now? The only reason I'm with him because YB to said. Cause YB told me what he about. What you mean? Like the nigga only wanted to put me because I used to fuck with YB. That's the only reason. The man kept bringing up. Like, what is you saying? Like y'all don't know so much. Shit. I don't speak on this shit, but y'all really got me up. Really talking about. Leave your lives. thoughts and opinions down below, you guys, and let me know what y'all think about this whole messy situation. Clearly, J.D. Youngin is back with Jordan and is not thinking about Cuban doll. Well, I don't know, y'all. Y'all know how much J.D. Youngin want to be YB. So, who's to say he ain't talking to Miss Jamia because of who she used to talk to in the past?